Hey guys, this is Jimmy from LearnRater here to show you today how to use the specific assignments tool. And so for assignments that have questions on LearnRater that are from different topics within a subject, we actually created this tool so we can draw insights into how students were performing um, on those specific questions. And so that's what I'm going to show you how to use today. So right now I had the class, board, the class export open, um, which you guys are already pretty familiar with. And we're actually going to want to go into the second tab. So students dash all questions. So once we get in here, we're actually going to want to highlight and copy the entire um, content that is on this tab. And so just click um, all the way A1 and then just click and drag until you get all the content. And so I'm just clicking and dragging. Um, you can definitely overshoot it a little bit um, just to ensure that you get all the content. And so after I highlight all that, I'm going to double right click, hit copy. And then we're going to go into our specific assignment tool. And so here, um, there are a list of questions for you to follow. It's just so you can ensure that you're putting the inputs in the right place. And so here, we already copied all our content from the Students All Questions tab. And we're actually going to paste it onto cell A7. So again, you can right click, hit paste. OK, and it should be all here. Now we can go to the second tab, um, which is step two called performance. And so now you can see that um, this dashboard is being populated with the question names as well as the student names, but it doesn't have assignment scores or grades or anything yet. And so what we actually want to do is go into this drop down menu. And so when you click on C2, the drop down menu should appear. It's actually going to have all the list of subjects that LearnRater currently has. And so uh, my subject was AP English Literature. And so I'm going to go to that. And so now we see that um, you can assign if you're using this question for your assignment. And so for this specific example, I'm just going to assign these three questions. And so you can either um, type in X um, to enter it in, or you can click on the drop down menu that appears as well. And so on your LearnRater answer key, you can find the correct answer for these questions, which you have to manually input um, into the dashboard, either through, again, um, the drop down menu, or you can just um, enter it in yourselves through the keyboard. And so um, just using my answer key, I'm going to enter in the answers. And so here you see that as I'm entering answers, it's reading how students were performing at these specific questions. And it's not only giving an assignment score out of 100, uh, but it's also giving a suggested grade. And so the suggested grade actually pulls from um, our online web base as to what we recommend as curves for each, um, each subject and for each assignment. And so we can see that um, there's a wide range here. Um, so while some students might answer all three questions correct and get an A, we see that um, an A under the standards of our online standards, um, a 67 or a 66.67 is, is an A as well. And so it not only does it show you the suggested grade and how students perform, but it also shows you number of questions that they answered. And so they answered three out of the three questions assigned. And so right next to that, you see that there's a little checkbox that shows if they completed an assignment or not. And so we see that this student didn't complete an assignment, this student didn't see can complete an assignment. And so that's why they're getting the grade that they're getting, um, just an additional insight for you to, to show. And so if you guys are having questions regarding this, you can go to the examples page, which is going to have a link for the video tutorial, um, a link to the curving resource guide, as well as um, example pictures as to um, how things should look um, in terms of the inputs tab and in terms of the performance tab. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to LearnerRater. Um, thank you so much.